The signs are all around us. Wars on many fronts, economic instability, claws in inflation, hyperinflation, recession to a depression. The news is being told not to report what is coming, but the elites already know. It's us, the people, who are kept in the dark. On this newscast, we are going to share what I call the slow fade. Why is this all happening? Is it about war from politics, governments, economies, racial tension, immigration, and the signs of a coming world war? We are coming to a breaking point in world history, a time that a generation has never seen before. This prophetic word slow fade was given to me on the fall of 2022. It's shared on my radio broadcast, the VOR radio show, which you can find at the VOR.net. What we are witnessing are just the contractions, the birth pegs. It's the slow fade. The world leaders will call for change, calling what is happening at the drying of the Euphrates River as climate change. For they will weaponize this push for those who pollute the earth to pass criminal charges leading to formation towards a one world government. The economy will not collapse as of yet. The unwise printing of more money without increasing supply has caused prices to inflate and because of high debt and increase of interest rates, it will slow down the economy. A slow fade, a stagflation, it's been coming, a slow decline in economic activity. There will be a recession, a time of less production and supply. There will be layoffs and all major industries will suffer. Many will blame COVID again, but it's the manipulation of the money changers. They have a plan to control the world's economy. It will lead to more world wars. It will become the solution. We must go to war and it would lead to a world war. This is why you must begin your own networks. You must start your own businesses. You must begin to invest into other avenues. A slow fate is coming, not in relationships, but in world affairs. Matthew 24 is our foundation. It will not come at once, but little by little. Prepare for what is coming. God is merciful. He is still giving us time to repent, to return to Him. Get the storehouses ready. Occupy until I come. I am giving my true servants wisdom and revelation on how to prepare and get the provisions they need to ride out this coming storm. I will reveal the secrets of increase, financial secrets that the elite do not want you to know. If you will do my will, I will make sure you are well taken care of. This is the slow fade. Let's read from Matthew chapter 24. It says, Jesus is speaking to his disciples. Now, as he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately saying, tell us when these things will come and what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age. And Jesus answered and said to them, take heed that no one deceives you. For many will come in my name saying, I am the Christ and will deceive many. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there will be famines, pestilence and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. This is the slow fade, the birth pegs. What must we do? We must prepare, prepare the storehouses. Get yourself economically stable. Do not depend upon one source of income. Multiply and diversify different avenues of finances. Very soon there will be a change and the dollar will collapse and there will be a digital currency. We'll come back with more on this newscast. The slow fate is coming, but God has given us solutions so that we can be prepared for what is coming.